Hey everybody, it's Jonathan here, and today I'm going to be talking with you about Petzl's um, Triact auto locking system that they have on a whole bunch of their carabiners. I'm on vacation and got to looking into um, some of the problems with this auto locking system and decided to make a video because what the heck, I'm on vacation, right? So Petzl has created this auto locker to be opened only with three distinct motions. One is pushed towards the gate, uh, two is a twist, and then three is open. Um, but nothing is foolproof, right? If, uh, if we make something foolproof, they'll just create a better fool. Um, and so today I want to talk about the flaws with this gate and also to just remind everybody, hopefully, that um, an auto locker is no substitute for being vigilant and, and careful. So uh, I want to be really clear that this is not an anti-Petzl video. I like Petzl a lot. They have a number of great products. One of them is the, the roll clip that I'm holding here. Um, while I'm mentioning that, the roll clip is the only carabiner I have that has the Triact locking system. So I'm actually going to be doing a few things with this carabiner today that I would recommend you not do uh, in real life. And basically that's use it as your main connector from a repel device to your harness. Um, so uh, essentially what happened is I had a friend talk to me yesterday and explain that the ropes course where they work, uh, they've had two instances in about the last five years or so where a participant has taken uh, a fall or slid off of one of the elements um, and their cow's tails essentially um, became weighted. But the other thing that happened is that the carabiner accidentally became locked into one of the cables. Um, which means that it had accidentally opened somehow. I'm going to refer to that as roll in. And once I figured out what was going on there, it was actually really easy to recreate. Um, so I'm going to explain that. Uh, we're also going to discuss roll out. And it is possible, although pretty difficult, to create a roll out situation with the Petzl Triact locker. Uh, if you don't know what roll out is, um, essentially what happens in roll out is the um, rappel rack or figure eight or whatever you're using um, accidentally levers against the gate and opens. And so this is uh, one of the reasons we never use non-locking carabiners as an attachment from our, our harness to something else. Um, once again, it can act as a, as a lever and this can happen whether you're using a rack with an eye or a figure eight or um, a sport rack like I've got here. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through those two things and hopefully everybody can learn something. What I'm going to do real quick is just explain what was going on that brought all this to my attention in the first place. If you're familiar with high ropes courses or not, you know that participants are generally walking around in elements on cables that are suspended from trees or other platforms. They're going to have a couple what they may call lobster claws or what Cabers normally call cow's tails to clip into the cable up above, keep them safe. Um, and it's anticipated to be a dynamic system. There's a little slack in it. And that's, um, that's a whole other issue. But essentially what had happened at least a couple times was when falling past the element, the participant was actually accidentally getting clipped into that cable that was supporting the platform or the, the element that they've been, been walking on. And so... This can happen. Well, this uh, exact kind of scenario is probably more likely to happen to um, participants on high reps courses or, or perhaps um, rope access technicians, anybody who's using a triact locking carabiner to connect their harness to some sort of lanyard or safety system. I'll show in just a second how it could potentially affect cavers and caving harnesses. So again, while not super likely, this could also happen to a caver who's rappelling down, passing a, a traverse line, um, or something like that. Um, the good news here for both cavers and for uh, rope course participants or rope access, access technicians, um, anybody who's using a triact carabiner to attach themselves either to a lanyard or a rappel rack, is that this is actually really easily avoidable. Uh, this is only going to happen in a scenario where you clip by going in from the bottom first. And what will happen is if your carabiner becomes inverted, then 
hitting something will, will pull that gate up and that, that's what will get the whole thing going. So if we can avoid any situations where that gate can get pulled up, then we can avoid it from happening altogether. The best way to do that is going to be always to clip yourself in with a triax auto locker by clipping into your D-ring or your main harness loop from above. And what that is going to do is that it's going to make any pushing of the gate pushing it in a direction that it already doesn't move. And so um, by clipping in from the top, it'll either, if the gate's on the outside, it'll be pushing it up, or if it's on the inside, it'll be pretty well protected by being up against your stomach, and the other side will just be running on, on the spine of the carabiner. So after I saw that it was really easy to create roll in with the track locking system, I started to wonder whether or not roll out was something that could happen um, with a track locking carabiner and a rappel device. And what I discovered is that it actually is reasonably easy to create. I don't think it's a scenario that's very likely in real life. As you'll see, it, it has to be levered against the gate in just the most precise fashion. Uh, but I was able to create rollout with all four of my different rappel racks, and I'll demonstrate that for you real quick here. So for those of you that are thinking, man, this whole problem could be avoided if we just use a quick link as our connector uh, with our rappel rack to our, our harness, that this could all be avoided. Um, I'll say, absolutely, you're correct. Uh, use one of these, it's going to be impossible to create rollout. Um, that's a whole discussion that the internet has had many times, and I'll save for another day. Um, I'll sum up my side of the issue by just saying that I value flexibility and the ability to take the connector on and off rather easily is important, particularly in a number of rescue scenarios. Um, and I'll kind of let that summarize my position. That's why I choose to use a, a carabiner to connect my rappel rack to my harness. Anyway, I'm uh, going to demonstrate rollout with all four rappel racks. First of all, with my micro SMC rack, four bar, two hyper bars. Once again, not a incredibly likely scenario, uh, but one that can um, can happen. Next, I'm going to demonstrate with my titanium rack. By the way, this is a really cool piece of equipment that I bought for myself for my birthday a couple years ago. Full titanium rack made by a Bevan Thrower and Wheo Adventures based out of New Zealand. Only fully titanium rack that I'm aware of. He custom made the hyper bars on this for me. Anyway, I'll link to his website in the description for this video. This was a little bit harder to accomplish. Roll out, I think, probably because the, the bottom of this is a little bit larger next I'm going to demonstrate roll out with um, my standard 6 bar SMC rack And I'm, I'm fully willing to admit the, the likelihood of this happening in real life is just minuscule. But again, mechanical device, not a miracle device. And last but not least, I'm going to demonstrate with my long rack. So thanks for watching. In summary, just wanted to say a couple things. Once again, I'm not anti petzl I think they're a great company. They've got a bunch of really good products, and I think this is actually a good auto-locking design, uh, but any auto-locking design has its limitations, so hopefully this video was able to bring those to light. I think maybe the one flaw in the design is, is that the gate is pretty, pretty grippy, and so that allows the rope or the cable or the rappel rack to be able to lever it in a way that it might not be able to do if these three gripped ridges weren't there. So maybe you could smooth out the, the gate a little bit. Obviously that would make it harder to open with your hands, but may prevent some of those other situations from happening. Um, also, just want to remind everybody, please don't use the roll clip like I was showing today. Again, this is the only carabiner I have with the triac locking system. So please don't use roll clip as your main connector. 
And then also I'm not saying that either roll in or roll out are scenarios that are incredibly likely to happen. Once again, at the ropes course that my friend worked out, they've had two instances in about five years with an awful lot of uh, participant use, but uh, it can happen and it's also pretty easy to prevent. And then of course roll out, I think even harder to create and I've never heard of an instance of that in real life, but it obviously could happen in some crazy scenarios. So just a couple things to think about. And lastly, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, like it, share it. If you've got friends that might be interested in, in seeing it, then please pass it on to them. Again, thanks for watching.